Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to address what I consider to be the most interesting criticism of me because it's, in a way, it's not really a valid criticism, but in a way it is. It's this whole point that people make that, Jason, you've become less hardcore since you've been on YouTube. Your attitude has changed on a lot of different stances and you contradict yourself. For example, you had said early on when you first got on YouTube, fuck cardio. Now you advocate everybody do cardio every day, at least some sort of less cardio, low intensity cardio, brisk walking, riding a bike, something like that. You advocated every day, but you said fuck cardio before. Years ago, a few years ago, you actually said, if you do lat pull downs, you're a pussy. I totally said that. Yet you guys have seen me do lat pull downs on video. I have my girlfriend do lat pull downs on video. I've advocated different types of diets. I've recommended people experiment with different types of diets, trying to find what's uh, right for them rather than be rigid with just certain things and trying new things. I have pushed away from the hardcore powerlifting in more towards general fitness. So the question becomes, why have I had all these contradictions? What's happened? Well, it's pretty simple. My attitude changed. I evolved as a person. I grew as a person. And as my audience grew, my priorities changed. First of all, when I first started YouTube and I had like 25 subscribers, I hadn't even come back and done a powerlifting meet yet. I was still in the rebuilding process. I had spent over three years away from training due to medical issues. I had spent almost an entire year in bed sick. I had gained large amounts of body fat while sick and sedentary and depressed. And I had to learn to walk again. I couldn't even squat, do anything like that. I had to rebuild myself. Part of the thing that I was doing I wanted to go and compete in powerlifting again. And the reason for that is because my doctors had told me I would never lift weights again and I would certainly never lift a heavyweight again. And so for me, I had to get myself into a mindset of hardcore training. I had to convince myself that it was such an important goal that I had to work so hard towards and it was to prove something to myself. Because all competitors really at the end of the day, a lot of people think that competitors are competing against other people. Honestly, you're really not. You're competing in here. You're competing against yourself. You are your own worst enemy sometimes when you are in any competitive endeavor. And my attitude had to be geared towards reaching my goals, getting up there and winning some medals, competing again to prove to myself that my doctors were wrong and that I could be strong and I could be powerful and I could lift some heavy ass weights again. That became a driving goal in my life. And that spilled over into my YouTube, that attitude that I developed reflected into my YouTube. But a couple different things transpired. First of all, I reached my goal. I went and did a regional meet. I took a gold medal at a regional meet and got invited to several championships. And then I took a medal at a national championship and got invited to Worlds in the WPC. I reached my goals and after that I realized I didn't need to compete anymore. I did what I set out to do. I was successful in a goal that I had set. I proved to myself. It didn't matter that I proved to other people. I didn't have to prove anything to the world. I had to prove to myself that I could still be strong again, that my doctors were wrong and I could rebuild myself. And I started growing a larger audience. And yeah, early on when I first started, my first few thousand subscribers were people who were interested in competing in powerlifting, young men interested in competing in bodybuilding, young men interested in competing in strongman who maybe wanted to get a college scholarship in football, high school guys. That was a lot of my initial audience. But as it started growing, I had more people who just wanted to get into shape. And the first time I got a letter from a guy thanking me for helping him lose the first 80 pounds after his doctors told him if he didn't lose 150 pounds, he probably wouldn't live long enough to see his three children uh, grow up to graduate high school. That email hit me really, really hard and that person had sent that early on and it was something I thought about uh, later down the road of realizing that helping someone lose 150 pounds with my advice so that they could live long enough to see their three children graduate high school was a more important goal that was so much more powerful and important of a goal than helping someone re get a medal in some damn meet. I mean, at the end of the day, people are competing for plastic trophies and piece of shit medals in these competitive endeavors. They aren't even going to make a living doing them versus helping someone survive to see their children graduate high school, maybe get married, become a grandparent. How do we even compare those two things? I can't. I can't compare the importance of them. That latter one is so much more powerful. It's worth so much more at the end of the day. And that sort of stuff made me start changing my attitude towards what I'm talking about. General fitness and getting people into shape 
is a thousand times more important for those of us who are public figures, who are putting out YouTube videos, who people watch. That stuff is way more important than helping people win plastic trophies. And if I have to choose between the two, helping people heal themselves to lose weight so they survive, get into shape, get fitter, get stronger, when we have an obesity epidemic and we have chronic disease, it is a plague in the Western world that's lifestyle induced. To me, that became a far, far more important priority. Ethically, as someone who actually has a voice in the fitness world, when I see so many people pushing the other stuff, the other information, who are not really helping anyone at the end of the day, they're, they're not helping save lives. They're not helping make the world a better place in any way. That doing this is far more important to me of promoting general fitness than helping people win plastic trophies. And so, yeah, my attitude has changed because my focus has changed. I'm no longer in a competitive mindset. I'm not competing anymore. I reached my goals, my personal goals that I set. I achieved them. Now I have other priorities with what I do on here. Will it always lose me some subscribers and fans? Yes, but new ones will come in to replace those. At the end of the day, I feel like the message that I'm trying to put out in the, the last year regarding a lot of true fitness stuff instead of competitive endeavors is just a more important and a larger message. It's, it has the potential to do more good. It's more useful. All right, guys, well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.